Wacom recently updated its Intuos Pro pen and touch tablet lineup. So this is the 2017 Wacom Intuos Pro unboxing. The one that I have is size medium, which is actually A5. There's also a larger version, which has A4. The tablet comes with the Pro Pen 2, more on that later. It has a few customizable buttons called Express Keys. And most importantly, it comes in this beautiful white box with this very nice looking art on the lid. Make sure you guys watch in 4K to see the art in all its glory. Inside the box, the tablet is presented at first, so I'm going to put it to the side. As usual, let's check out the accessories. So first in this bundle, I encountered the quick start guide, which is really well labeled, really easy to understand, and kind of useful. So this is something that Wacom does, it provides us with these rings to customize the pen. Really cool, I would say. I don't know what that is. Anyway, more on that later. So this is the Pro Pen 2. It has a eraser. It has four times the pressure sensitivity. Unlike the Artisol that I previously had, this one has tilt sensitivity. And I think this pen feels way better than the Artisol pen. And this one also doesn't have any batteries. This is the pen holder and also the tool that you use to replace the nibs. You can actually open it and there are the replacement nibs and the base unit is made of metal and really weighted. The tablet comes with USB Type-C cable for charging, I'm really happy with that. Now let's go ahead and open the seal covering the tablet. The base of the tablet is made out of metal and the top is soft touch plastic. You can actually change, oh wait, okay, the shot is complete. So you can actually change the top of the tablet to change the texture to make it more rough or smooth. And generally speaking the build quality is really good. The buttons are really tactile and they're touch sensitive. There are also two buttons on one side, one for power and the other to toggle the touch function. This is actually a multi-touch supported tablet and it's really thin as you guys can see. And that is a USB Type-C port for charging and connecting the tablet to the computer. So I'm really impressed with the build quality of this tablet coming from an artisol. Anyway, um, I plan to do a review. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more.